Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. I know it sounds silly given everything that's happening, but I'd really like to do something special for her birthday. It's a great idea. She's done so much. Are you interested in trading? Hello? Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I... I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have.
Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Enjoy. Pleasure doing business with you. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Kony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. His pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. Do you have anything you want to say? I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. 
I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Mm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. What is that? Uh, oh my uh, god. Please, help me. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abbey's. 
Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Possible. I can't carry any more.
Need to get back to the village. All full up. Can't carry any more. Gather your things and go back to the village. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. Bless you. Possible. I can't carry any more. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more.
I haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Mm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. 